In the Bronze Age, Indo-European steppe nomads entered Europe and conquered lands from the Atlantic to the Eastern Baltic. As the Bronze Age was coming to an end, these Indo-European groups started evolving into the linguistic groups that make up modern Europe. Here's a map of Late Bronze are Indo-European groups in Europe. The samples we will cover in this video are a part of the Estonia underscore BA cluster shown on the map in green. These people lived in Estonia prior to the arrival of Uralic speakers, and date from 12th to 7th century BC. An interesting piece of trivia about these samples is that every single male from this group carried the Y lineage R1A, which is associated with the spread of the corded ware culture. Since this group predates Uralic speakers, the Uralic Y lineage N1 is not found among them. According to G25, the closest modern groups to these people are Balts. G25 finds a large portion of steppe ancestry in Bronze Age Estonians, however Qubim suggests even higher steppe admixture. According to Qubim, two-thirds of their ancestry derives from the steppe. According to an FST run computed with admixtals 2, Bronze Age Estonians are most similar to Belarusians, Russians, and other Slavs. A Mesolithic ancestry breakdown computed with QBM suggests that the dominant ancestral component in Bronze Age Estonians was the Eastern hunter-gatherer component. These people had very high contribution from the Eastern and Western hunter-gatherers. Over half of their ancestry was of Mesolithic European origin, which is higher than every European ethnicity today. A Neanderthal ancestry run revealed that Bronze Age Estonians carried just below 2% Neanderthal ancestry, which is on par with what is typical for modern Europeans. Let's get into their trait predictor results. We'll start with OLS11. He is predicted to have brown eyes, dark brown hair, palest skin tone, curly hair, and a Greek nose shape. He was predicted to be a worrier, to have low odds of autism, high empathy, average odds of obesity, and decisively blood type A. He scored particularly high for odds of rheumatoid arthritis, type 1 diabetes, and multiple sclerosis. He scored particularly low for odds of prostate cancer, cardiovascular issues, and erythema nodosum. He carried rare risk variants for Pfeiffer syndrome, myosclerosis, and phenylketonuria. Now, let's move on to X08. He is predicted to have light hazel eyes, reddish blonde hair, pale white skin tone, curly hair, and a Greek nose shape. He was a worrier, had average odds of autism, lower empathy, average odds of obesity, and either blood type O or A. He scored particularly high for odds of bipolar type 2, Alzheimer's, and glioma. He scored particularly low for odds of prostate cancer, schizophrenia, bipolar type 1, and hemoglobin E disease. He carried rare risk variants for beta thalassemia. Now let's move on to X10. He is predicted to have blue eyes, dark blonde hair, white skin, curly hair, and a Greek nose shape. He was intermediate between the warrior and warrior profiles. He had high odds of autism, higher empathy, higher odds of obesity, and decisively blood type O. He scored particularly high for odds of AMD and Alzheimer's. He scored low for odds of polycythemia vera, type 2 diabetes, bipolar type 1, erythema nodosum, schizophrenia, and bipolar type 2. He carried rare risk variants for familial thoracic aortic aneurysm. Now, let's move on to X14. He is predicted to have light hazel eyes, black hair, pale white skin, curly hair, and a Greek nose shape. He was a worrier, had average odds of autism, was lactase persistent, had higher empathy, low odds of obesity, and likely blood type A. He scored particularly high for odds of hemoglobin E disease, AMD, and glioma. He scored low for odds of polycythemia vera, bipolar type 1, cardiovascular issues, cataracts, pros, and erythema nodosum. He carried no rare risk variants. Now, let's move on to X17. He is predicted to have light green eyes, dirty blonde hair, olive skin tone, straight hair, and a Greek nose shape. He was a warrior, had high odds of autism, was lactose intolerant, had high empathy levels, low odds of obesity, and likely blood type A. He scored particularly high for odds of rheumatoid arthritis, type 2 diabetes, and type 1 diabetes. He scored low for odds of polycythemia vera, primary biliary cirrhosis, cataracts, open angle glaucoma, eczema, 
and erythema nodosum. He carried rare risk variants for Parkinson's. You can purchase their raw DNA in 23andMe format from links in the description. Thank you for watching.